Hey, welcome back to Cooking with Beer. I'm Chris. I'm Doug. Tonight, I am going to make you a fantastic open-faced steak sandwich. But we're going to put some things on it that are a little bit from the norm. So we're going to put some fresh guacamole on that. Love guac. Oh, you got to love guac. Love guac. Use some toasted garlic bread. Okay. Um, so love that's going to be our base. garlic bread. Yeah, toast the garlic bread. We're going to have that as our base. We're going to make some fresh guacamole. Right. And then I'm going to reduce some tomatoes and garlic. We're going to put that over a nice, beautifully cooked, medium rare piece of steak. Damn. We're going to cut it open. And we're going to cut it in half, right? Instead of cut it open. We're going to cut it in half and then we're going to serve it to each other. Let's see how you like it. You're I spoiling me, brother. I think you're going to like it. I can't, I can't wait. It you sounds know, good. And the best part about it? I hope it's quick because I'm hungry now. It, it, well, you know what? We'll get there. And through right. the magic of TV, you'll be tasting in no time. Uh, you know, but uh, we're going to use a real good quality steak. We're going to use filet tonight. That's good. So stay I love tuned. Filet. Watch how it's done. And make sure, go into our description. You'll find his recipes. And please, if you have a good time, subscribe, share, leave the comments. Uh, when you make his food, make any of our foods, take pictures, put them in the comments. We love to see it. If you have any questions, reach out, we'll answer them. Uh, but enjoy it, Chris, man. I hope you deliver because Thanks. it sounds damn good. This is gonna be great. Cheers, people. Cheers. <laughs> Wait, no, who are you? Chef of the Future. Oh, hello. I'm glad to have you aboard, Chef of the Future. Remember the Chef of the Future. Welcome back to Cooking with Beer. I'm Chris. Why don't we cook some steak? Better yet, some filet mignon. All right. Oh, that's steak. Nice filet. All right. So, open face steak sandwich. Take okay. yourself a filet. Beautiful filet mignon. Oh, that's okay. a nice that's piece a nice of cow, filet. man. Yeah, absolutely. Moo, oh, moo. God Cucker bless room. that cow. All right, we're going to trim this up a little bit. Okay, we're going to make pieces that will cook a little bit quicker than your normal piece of steak. Why? Because we want to eat quickly, and that's why. So, we cut your steak into little pieces, about like... So, once you have your steak seasoned up, well, cut up, we're going to season it up. And then we're going to throw it into a skillet. This is going to cook really fast. It's nothing that's going to take a long time. Probably looking at about three minutes a side at the most. Some of these are a little bit smaller. Some of you guys out there, you might like your steak cooked a little bit more done. Oh. These are going to be a little bit medium rare. So, medium rare is what? Yeah, I'm a medium rare. You know rare what? Too. If you're going to ruin steak, make it done, done. 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 Yeah. yeah. Then you're done with me. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because don't, don't, don't ruin that steak. The way you like steak is... What a shame. Yeah, Respect okay. the cow. Respect the cow is right. Yeah. I got some avocado oil. Avocado okay. oil? Yeah, avocado oh, oil is something I like cooking with because it's got a high flash point, something that you could really get a good sear on. Uh, whenever you cook steak, you want to sear in the flavor, so the pan's got to be really hot. You want your oil to be able to take that heat, and I found that avocado oil just pretty much works the best. So, big fan of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil works really well also, so you don't have to really use specifically avocado oil, but it's something I like. Yes. All right, so our steak. Yes, kind of Kind of bland right now, so we're going to season it up with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, both salt sides? Salt and pepper, both sides. So, I like sea salt. You guys could use whatever kind of salt you want, but I like fresh pepper, fresh salt. That's why I go. Yes, you got to grind. Time. Yeah, you got to grind. Oh, there we go. I'm hearing the sizzle, bro. You're brother. hearing the sizzle. All right, get these pieces in here. Always put meat in away from you. Never and why is that? It because you're going to splash yourself with the grease otherwise. Uh, sizzle's good. So we got a good sizzle going on those. You said about three, yeah, about three two, minutes aside. About three minutes aside. Two or three minutes aside. Yeah. You don't really move your steak around. You just let it sit, cook. I always like to watch, see if it's coming halfway up. These pieces are very small, so it's going to happen quickly. Like I said, about three minutes aside. Now they're all cut about the same size. That's for cooking. Yeah, for, so everything gets Even. about done the same time. Correct. Perfect. And then oh. while that's going, yeah, you got to watch yourself. You want it a little hot. That could have waited a little bit, but that one's a oh. nice piece. That one's very nice. We're going to get a nice sear on all of these guys. So. Do we really need anything else with this? this we so really don't. That and beer, and I think we're in business. You know. That already smells. Oh, okay. no. like, <laughs> is that the avocado oil uh, that I'm like, smelling? Yeah, or yeah, a little bit, combination a little bit of a combination of the, of, the, of the steak as well as the avocado oil. Nah, that's avocado a great oil has a great 
a great flavor. It's not a really, it's a very smooth finish. It's something that you can make um, salad dressings with. So our steak, believe it or not, is pretty much done. So let's get our steak off. Open that up quick. Why, I have no idea. <laughs> what I do is I take my steak. So it's got to rest. So it has to rest. That's the, one of the most important things with steak. Get those pieces out and make sure you rest them up. You know, if that oil wasn't so hot, I'd put it's a straw in there and suck it up. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd be very tasty. All right, we have our steak resting. Now we're going to make this tomato and garlic reduction. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, this is... The closer gets me to that steak. The closer Let's gets go. you to that steak. Some vine-ripened tomatoes. I have like, I don't know, like seven. Okay. Okay. Take the tops off. We've already washed these. Take your knife. Cut them in half. Okay. Absolutely. Once you got your tomatoes cut, you're going to take your garlic clove. Uh, we don't have that many tomatoes, so I'm going to cut this in half. And then we're going to... Look at the little nice skills on the dice. Oh, how about little, that? Little, yeah. little dicey <laughs> dice. Little, little dicey mean, dice, huh? I'll tear stuff I'll up you. before I cut it that nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until I cut my finger. Oh. All right. So once you have that stuff diced up, that's your... That's your combination right there. That's impressive. That's impressive. Okay, but, what are and, we and doing with it. the tomatoes and garlic? This is the tomatoes and garlic. We're going to take some avocado oil again. Mm. Okay, we're going to put that into a pan that we got heating. All right. A little bit. We're not wanting too much. Touch. Too, too much. Okay. Then we're going to take our tomatoes. Right. We're going to go in. Got we're the sizzle going our, again. Our garlic. You know, I have a bad feeling this is going to smell incredible. Oh, it is going to smell incredible. Get a meat. And then to that, we're just going to slide these around a little bit. I'm going to add some fresh cracked pepper. And then we're going to add some fresh sea salt. Oh. Look, look, at, look at the pan skills on Chris. How's that smell? <laughs> you didn't know I had pan skills. Uh, they're done. They're done. They they're smell done. done. They, they smell incredible. They smell incredible, don't they? I love it. It's so, such simple ingredients. And things look and smell amazing. They oh. add such a great flavor when you're cooking. And, uh, you know, you can always, you just, like you said before, it's all about building flavors. And this is just extremely flavorful. It's extremely huh. flavorful. So now all I'm going to do is kind of mash these. Okay. A little bit. Okay. And as you see, I'm taking the skin away as I do that. Because oh. I, I don't want to give people that are tasting our food a bad taste. Okay, is so the skin bitter or something? Or? It's just hard to chew. It kind of okay. gets stuck in your teeth. You can see how it's it's hard to pull yeah. away. So you, you almost got to use your yep. beer like mouthwash. See, yeah, exactly. And squish back. So <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of effort in what you're cooking always makes a difference. Okay. Oh. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna mush these up, and then we're gonna get ready to make our guacamole. There you go. So guacamole next. Guacamole's next. Can't right? wait. Hey, we've already got our steak resting. We've made our tomato and garlic reduction. Now we're gonna make our next layer of flavor, deliciousness, which is guacamole. Guacamole. Holy guacamole. Oh, uh, the good stuff. So, avocados. So, avocado, cut it in half. Cut Love around. some avocado. Cut around. Break it open. Look at that Ooh. avocado. That is a beautiful avocado. Know how to get a pit out of an avocado? You take yes. your knife? Okay. Everyone always wanna be careful when you're doing that. Because otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Speaking of that, you're going to want to watch it. So no, how right. do you get a pit off? How do you get a pit knife? off of an avocado, off of a knife? All right, I always score mine lengthwise. Okay. And then I kind of do like this side action thing. All right. And then I take it and I put that into our bowl. Oh. All right. So once your avocado is in the bowl, that's pretty mm -hmm. much where you need to be with each avocado. So you cut the other half, same way you did that one. What do we add to our avocado? I don't know. Well, we add a little bit of fresh lime. Fresh lime is yeah, good. Fresh lime is always good. See? Guacamole is a very simple, very simple, simple, simple recipe. So you got your avocado, your fresh lime juice. All right. Squares the crap. And we like to treat, we like to cheat on this channel. Okay. We like to treat ourselves from time to time with less work. Am I correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, this, we're, we're doing it so, to make it simple for everybody. Organic salsa. Organic. Yeah, organic salsa. What is organic? It, what makes it organic? Uh, I guess the way it was grown. Okay. Yeah. So, Fair enough. All right. No pesticides or anything like that. So the thing is with making guacamole, you see that juice in there? Yes. I, you don't really want that. Okay. Okay. You don't really want a wet, wet guacamole. Right. 
and it's not a lot of salsa to a lot of avocado. If you're using one avocado, you're going to use about a tablespoon, two, two tablespoons. About two most. tablespoons. Yep, about two tablespoons. Or as we'll have in the recipe in the description, Absolutely. a lot but not a lot. A lot but not a lot. Okay, so fresh guacamole, guess what? What's that? That's done. That's done? That's done. Done. Okay. Done. You might say, hey, that looks a little chunky. Well, uh, remember, this good. isn't guacamole that we're serving with yeah. chips. Absolutely. Okay. So we want a little bit of texture. Good call. All right. All right. So we done. We are going to season that just a little bit with some salt and some fresh pepper. And we're going to put that over to the side. And in the end, we're going to cut up some fresh cilantro. We're going to put that Cilantro? In. Some cilantro. Just a little bit. Right. No, no iceberg lettuce or anything. No iceberg lettuce. All right, just cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it. There's some that's already in there with, uh, with the salsa. But for me, I what? always like a little bit of fresh. Hey. Fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. They, they never hurt. All righty. And yeah, there awesome. is your guacamole. So we've cooked our steak. We've reduced our tomatoes and our garlic. We made our guacamole. Our last step, fresh baked garlic bread. That's the best. Already got garlic in it. They oh. make it for you. You go to the Stop. supermarket. I'm telling you, it's just like that bang. All right. With the garlic bread, hey, look, just look at this. Oh, damn. Damn. Right? How do they get How do they make the Swiss cheese in the bread? I don't know. It's just it's it's just deliciousness. But this is the kind of bread you're looking for. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take these four pieces. We're not gonna put anything on them. They don't need any oil. They don't need anything. Because they're already do, garlic. They are already garlic. I see a little piece of garlic right in there. See that? Oh, oh we got garlic. Absolutely. All right. Pieces. Now how long right. do they broil? They broil not long at all. So two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes at the most. And you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on those because you don't want them to burn. All right, the best part we've all been waiting for. Now we're going to assemble this sandwich, all right? So, I thought the best part was eating it, brother. The best part? Well, well okay. <laughs> the second best we part. We always like to see what comes together. <laughs> all right. So we got our garlic bread. Mm, fresh that out of the smells oven. good, brother. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yep. So to these, we're going to add some fresh guac. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom layer. Be generous. Be generous. I'll make sure we're taken care of. <laughs> so how does that smell? I, I'm happy with the garlic bread and yeah. the block. I don't know. be honest right? with you. You make that a sandwich yourself. Huh. Just open face. All Absolutely. right. So your guac is on your on your bottom. All right. We got the guac. Got the guac. You're gonna take those. And you're gonna put those on your plate. Look at, look at the plating skills, too. How about that? You yeah. like that? Yeah, I All mean, right. considering I'm going to mash them when they're done. <laughs> <laughs> always, about, always about taking care of each other. That's All right. right. So our steak. We got our steak cooked. And you want to cut your steak on an angle. Oh, look at that steak, Doug. Dude, that's perfect. It is perfect. I told you it didn't take long, did it? No. No. All right. So once you're done, you're just going to add your pieces of steak to the part of part of part of you wants to try it yeah, i mean here you want a piece of steak here i'll feed you a piece of steak there you go there's how's oh, that sure I don't... tasty huh that's good steak and it's good steak how's it cooked it's perfect is it that's I what mean, we like you can see perfect yeah that's this what is, we like this is why i'm gonna come to your house and give you some attitude if you're freaking go <laughs> well done on this <laughs> yeah you definitely want your steak Somewhere where it has a good, a good bite to it, but a great flavor. Oh, and I just, I just don't see how you can get flavor out of steak if you if you cook it like shoe leather. Alrighty. So, there are our sandwiches. Okay. Okay. And now, don't we, we have one more thing? We are going to top them off with our tomato and garlic reduction. Oh my god. Yeah. So this, it's not only appetizing when you eat it but it's also appealing to your eye i'm a guy that eats brother my eyes. i like the way food looks we, we got to do more oh, of these shows so i can I'm eat some of your stuff all right so there and then we're going to take a fresh piece of basil oh uh, look at it look at it. We're getting a little put, special yet put a little piece of basil on each of these and guess what we are done and that's it that's phenomenal looking i hope you like it 
Okay, Doug. Guess what? Time Wait, to eat. Time to eat. Yeah, let's see how you like it. Do it. Yeah, you gotta. It's too pretty to eat. Okay. Well, maybe not. Well, but nothing's too pretty. Right. You know, exactly. Like I said, eat with your eyes first, and but let me know what your taste buds well, think. Well, my eyes say yum. So I'm yeah, just gonna a dig in. Piece there. Part of me. Go for it. Part of my reach. <laughs> the sacrifice I'm doing for y'all right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Give it the old a, taste tester. That's crunchy bread. It's a good bite. Oh my god. How are the flavors? You just take your time. You enjoy that. So like I said, fresh Keep ingredients. Talking. You know the routine. You got your filet, you know, you cook that the way you like it. I like ours medium rare. It seems like we both do. The guacamole, that just adds a great base. That's a great, great texture uh, that goes along well with your, your meat chew as well as that, that reduction for the... If you're not jealous. <laughs> your tomatoes. You, you just don't like food. Food. So do us a favor. Try this recipe at home. Let us know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you get that bell notification click so you get updated on any new content that we might put out. And uh, damn, brother, seems like you're enjoying that. I could go into any restaurant, any five star, and I can't get something that good. I'm, well, I'm glad you like. It. Holy, uh -huh. I'm glad you like. It. Excuse me while I talk with my like mouth. I said, I'm Chris. We're cooking with beer. Mm -hmm. That's Douglas. He's got a mouthful. Stick around and we'll bring some more great recipes to you shortly. Take good care. Cheers. Take care, people.